Hello and welcome to MentorLinux.com. I am Hanif. In today's video, we are going to see how to compile a C program using GCC. So the first thing that we need to ensure is that we need to check if the operating system has a GCC compiler in it. To check that, you could give the command GCC hyphen V and then disk I've got GCC version 4.7.3 so if you do not get this version it means that your system does not have a GCC compiler so to in order to get a GCC compiler you could give the command so if you give this command um, the important thing is you have to be connected with the internet so um, connect your system to the internet and then give this command so when you give this command what happens is it will install a GCC compiler for you so after installing this you could cross check it by providing the command GCC hyphen V right so probably you will be getting or not probably for sure you'll be getting GCC version 4.7.3 or any other latest version that you've installed so once you've got that you're good to go now you have a compiler now the next thing that you need to do is you need to have a program to write uh, and compile so to do that you could use any of your um, text editors and uh, write the C program so we're just going the classical way I'm using a VIM editor and I'm going to um, write a hello world program right so um, and once you've written the program do not forget to save it as a dot c extension this is the most important step for every c program you have to have a dot c extension so once you've done that so i've written a program already uh, using vim editor you could use any editor for that matter the only thing is you need to save it with a dot c extension once you've done that to compile Once you've done that, to compile you could give gcc hello.c. So it is compiling. And now, if I do, if I list it, I uh, list my directory, I'll get a.out and I've got hello.c. So hello.c was my source code file and a.out is my output file. Now to run this, I could give a dot slash a.out and then press an enter and this is the output hello world so that is how you compile with a GCC this is a simple mode uh, compilation uh, let us say that you have four to five programs and you want to compile them uh, naturally if you're using this method of GCC hello.c or any other program file.c what will happen is every time you compile a program the a the output file which is a dot out will be getting replaced with the latest compiled uh, source code uh, uh, compilation so what happens is a dot out will not contain uh, the previous other files for instance let me say that uh, I've got one more I'm going to create one more file um, creating it I'm saving it now and I'm using GCC to compile this now it is, it is printing hi how are you so um, the hello world is gone the a dot out file does not contain hello world anymore now it is containing hi how are you 
So in order to overcome this, what we could do is, when we are compiling, we could give a switch called this hyphen o, and then whatever name you want your output file to be. Here for simplicity, I'm giving just print. Okay, just print. Now, if I give a ls, I'm having just print. Now I'm gonna. There you go. I have just print here, and now I'm going to have a. Uh, hello. Let's see. Now, if you see, I've got hello and I've got just print. Now, if I want the output for hello.c, I could take it from hello output file. So, hello is printing hello world, and just print is giving me hi, how are you? So, this is the way you create a switch to create different uh, output files for different C programs. Thank you for watching. Bye.